Hi guys, welcome to your chapter seven lesson three notes with more multiplication properties of exponents. By the end of the day, you'll be able to raise a power to a power. That's when you have like n to, n to the eighth power to the bth power like that. And to raise a product to a power. So if you have like a b to the nth power like that, okay? So here's, here's what happens. Let's say you have some number a um, to the nth power and you raise that to the nth power, you've got one exponent here and that whole thing is raised to another exponent. That's equal to a to the m times nth power. So you take those powers and you multiply them by each other. That's the first hint that we're going to use today. Um, there's two of them actually, so we're going to put, put this here. Okay. So what that looks like is if you have n to the four, n to the power four to the power of seven, that's the same thing as n to the power of four times seven. Um, four times seven is in fact 28, so that's n to the power of 28. So if you have power raised to a power, raise them together. Same thing applies if your powers are fractions. So you've got two thirds times one half. You have x to the power of two thirds times one half. Some of you might find it easier to put these in parentheses so you know that it's all about, um, this is all exponential stuff, that's fine. Um, so I'm gonna multiply top and bottom across each other. So we'll get two times one on top is two and three times two on bottom is six. Um, two sixth simplifies to one third. So we get x to the power of one third. If you saw it coming over here and you got the twos reduced to get one third, that's great. That's, I'm happy for you, okay? So if you have a power raised to another power, multiply those exponents together. Awesome. Now let's look at our, oh yeah, something very important to keep in mind. Um, sorry, don't drop your Apple Pencil. <laughs> These parentheses means that this exponent applies only to what's inside the parentheses, parentheses. It doesn't apply to this guy right here. So that means we still get y cubed and then you have these two powers multiplied times each other. Five halves times negative two. Okay, well, what is five halves times negative two? Um, yeah, okay, so we still have y cubed. Um, five halves times negative two is just negative five. That's super. Okay, well, now look at what we have. Guys, we're taking all the knowledges you have and we're putting them all together. Well, now we have the same base multiplied by itself. And we remember, re we remember, we remember, we remember from last time that when you have that, you add those exponents together. Wasn't that super cool? So since you have the same base, you can just add those exponents together. Uh, three plus five is eight. So, nope, just kidding. We want three plus negative five, so that's three minus five. So it gives you y to the negative second power. Awesome. And then from two lessons ago, you remember, ooh, negative exponent. Well, I remember that when I have a negative exponent, that negative is like a fraction bar. So we put one on top, everything else goes on bottom. That's one over y squared. So that's our whole final answer. Isn't that super duper? I think that is super duper. Cool. Okay. So that's our first rule is that when you have a power raised to a power, you multiply those exponents together. Here's our second property, our second rule of the day. Our second rule of the day says, hey, if you have two things inside parentheses that are multiplied by each other, a product, and you raise them to the nth power, then you can take this n and distribute it to both of these guys. So that's equal to a to the nth power times b to the nth power. So if you have a product raised to a power, that's the same thing as their powers multiplied together. So this is gonna come in handy down here. We've got this cubed, 4x cubed. 
we're going to distribute that cubed to both of these guys. So that's the same thing as 4 cubed times x cubed, because they both get a cubed. Uh, 4 cubed is 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64 x cubed. We're just going to leave alone. Ta-da! 64 x cubed. Look at this guy. Oh, remember? This power only goes to whomever is in the parentheses. So we're going to keep our outside 4 the same. This is the same thing as 3 squared times x squared. Because they both got their 2. Okay. Uh, 3 squared is 9, so we have 4 times 9 times x squared. 4 times 9 is 36. Final answer is 36x squared. Isn't that awesome? So remember that when you have a product in parentheses and then you have a power, that power goes to both, or in fact, everybody, goes to everybody in parentheses, even if there's more than two people in there. And by people, I mean bases. Like this guy right here. Oof, look at him. He's got a cube, so you get a cube, and you get a cube, and you get a cube as well. So let's rewrite that. So that'll be 4m n to the negative 2 thirds power. Okay, And 4 gets a cube, m gets a cube, and n gets a cube. But remember, if you have a power to a power, you multiply them together. So that'll be negative 2 thirds times 3. Okay, that was the second half. Oh, hey, look over here. We've got a power to a power. So that'll give us n to the 1 half times 10. Cool. Let's clean that up a little bit. So when I when I clean this up, I'm going to take my numbers. I'm going to move that to the front. Um, 4 cubed is 64. So I simplified and moved him out to the front. Next, I like to put my variables in alphabetical order. So we're going to take all of our M business. Um, my M business right here, and that's it. That's all we have. So that gives us M cubed. Cool. And then next, we're going to worry about our N business. We're going to do a lot of simplifying. Um, N to the 1 half times 10. Well, 1 half times 10 is 5. So that's the same thing as N to the 5th power. So we've got N to the 5th power. Cool. Now let's look at this guy right here. Negative 2 thirds times 3 is negative 2. So we have n to the negative second power. Woo! Look at us putting all of our knowledges together. It's like it all builds on itself. How fun is that? We're almost there. Um, we can just copy the same whole thing. We can't simplify 64 anymore. We can't simplify m cubed anymore. But we can simplify our n business right here. Since we have these two multiplied together, we're going to take those exponents. We're going to add them together. So it gives us 5 plus negative 2 as our power of n. Uh, 5 plus negative 2, last time I checked, is 3. So it gives us an n cubed. 64 m cubed n cubed. Oh, how cubed! There you go. Isn't that great? That's everything you need to know. <laughs> um, power to a power, multiply them together. So exponent raised to an exponent, multiply them together. Multiply together, get an exponent, give everybody the exponent. There you go. Have a wonderful time on your homework.